What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today we're opening up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rushdoll Red Reboot of Darkness. So yeah, this is a brand new Rushdoll set that is currently out right now for Japan. It is like uh, the main set, they have a lot of spin-off sets and stuff too, just like we do in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! And what's cool about this set, the reason I wanted to pick it up, is it has new Red Eye support. Yeah, the Rushdoll sets have actually have been bringing back a lot of the legacy stuff. Like, we got a, a Blue Eyes structure deck that actually came out with new Blue Eyes cards just for Rushdolls. We've got new, like, Cyber Dragon stuff, Dark Magician, now Red Eyes, basically. And, uh, yeah, it kind of goes with the whole Red Eyes Meteor stuff, especially as well. There's even, like, a new Rocket Warrior in this, and I think it's really cool. I'm kind of disappointed, though, that they're using these cool ideas, though, on Rushdolls. Because, you know, I wouldn't care as much if we had Rushdolls, but we don't so kind of a pity but it's still cool and i want to try to collect them i want to try to get an overrush you're not i don't believe guaranteed an overrush in this and if i could get one of the red eyes overrushes that would be sick so let's go ahead open this up and see what we can get also of course i got this from using buy so check them out link in the description you buy stuff from japan like you live in japan so i was able to get this from them they have all kinds of awesome stuff on there of course video games uh anime statues card games i mean a little bit of everything again it's like you're just shopping from japan and it makes it so much easier and right now with the yen being not worth as much as the u.s dollar i can't convert it like for other currencies so you'll have to do that yourself if you're in a, a different region but anyway it makes it so much cheaper to buy stuff from Japan through them. Like you're saving a third of your money on that, plus you're saving all the money you would through using Bai. And then if you use my link, you get 1,000 yen. So you're saving quite a bit of money actually by using them. So check them out, link in the description. And yeah, you get little card dividers and all that. I'll get those later. You should do those after the video. You get 30 packs in these too. So let's see, part of the cards. I remember this one, Flip Dragon. I liked him because he looks like a little turtle. There's another one that goes with him, too, like, face the other way. There's the new Rocket Warrior. It's like Rocket Warrior Medic, I think is his full name. He is really cool looking. Field Medic, maybe that's the full name. Either way, I, I like that. <laughs> I like seeing him. That's what I like about Rush Tools anyway, still, is I like seeing the older monsters that get to come back. I think that's a really cool thing. I still would like it, though, if we actually had them in English. That would be nice. There's the new Meteor Dragon. Goes with red eyes, of course. A lot of dragons, basically, I think, in this. It's like a polymerization. I think a themed polymerization. But yeah, I think this set is mainly about dragons, obviously. So you're going to probably see quite a few. There's our Rocket Warrior again. There's, uh, I think it's Dragon Claws. Oh, we got uh, Cyber Shark. I remember this one. What was it? Uh, Duelist Genesis, I think, is where we got it. The original. <laughs> And then, of course, oh, that's a cool looking fusion. I don't know the name, but I like the art. A lot of colors. Not bad. 3,000 attack, too. Hey. Again, I'm mainly looking for the legacy stuff, so that's what I'm going to name over and that kind of, those kind of things. I got the, was it, the Fish Depth Charge, I think is the name of this one. I think I remember that. I know we have that in English, of course. We've had it for a while. I want to say it was like... It was like the first Zexel set or something. <laughs> I'm trying to remember exactly. Another cool looking fusion. Oh, there's like the meteors. Meteor dragon. Ooh, here we go. Got some kind of Cthulhu looking dude. That looks really neat. I think he's just for Rushdolls, of course, but still. Not bad. A lot of... Uh, Ocean cards. Is that Torpedo Fish, I think? I think that's like a redone version. And then even like another Meteor Dragon. This is like an evolved Meteor Dragon where he's more out of his shell. Because he looks like he has like a shell, right? I mean like the other one where he's like inside in the Meteor itself. So this must be like his more uh, evolved form or something. It's almost like he's a Pokemon <laughs> or something like that. Like he's fully out of the shell. Because Meteor Dragon always remind me too of like a turtle or something anyway. Oh, there we go. We got another fusion here, like a Meteor Dragon. Okay, I gotta find the name of this one. This one looks really cool. It's like a, a different Meteor Dragon. This one is Meteor Swarm Dragon. So it's like a little mini fusion. Well, mini. I mean, still level 8 and everything, but still. That is cool looking. I like that. And then, another fusion. I do like all the different fusions they have, too. That's the thing with Rushdolls, too. They only have up to fusions. They don't have, like, you know, synchros, exes, none of that, so... 
a little simpler. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Reminds me of, uh, oh, what's their names? Can't think of it. Now I said that. Ghost Tricks. <laughs> Trick or treat, you know? There's like a fish polymerization? Huh, that's kind of cool. Also, I really hope that's a trunk behind me and not like a, my stomach. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that on the microphone. It's like a big truck. Oh, this guy looks like an Infernoble Knight. Kind of. Oh, here you go. A new alligator sword. He's like an alligator sword red eyes. It is Alligator's Black Knight is his full name. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ooh, and a secret rare. Don't know her. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't hurt my chance of getting over rush. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. I, I don't know. I, I always forget with main sets especially. We're probably not guaranteed anything. But we'll see. That's like a kappa. Like a hot topic kappa. Okay. <laughs> you know, after all the years of opening Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, seeing all these different Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that's not even on my top hundred list probably of weird monsters I've seen. So, yeah. <laughs> that's nothing. Oh, here we go. Is that another, like, evolution of him? This one is Demolition, Meltdown, Dragon, Darkness, uh, Blasma Hut. So, yeah, I know there's, like, those construction, like, demolition dragons. So, that must be actually part of that. It's not part of Red Eyes. It kind of looked like it could have been part of Red Eyes. So. Because everything looked about right, you know? That's what I was thinking at first. We got both of the little turtle dragons. I think it's Flip Dragon is the same, but still, it looks like little turtles to me. What else we got? Oh, that fusion again. Come on, heart of the cards. And, so, oh, there's that again. And depth charge. Last one for the right side. Come on, give us another hollow. Really like that. Oh, those cards stuck together. Well, there you go. Well, we got the meteor dragon in, which is pretty neat. Now for the left side of the box. Yeah, see, there you go. There's with him, like, in his shell. He's actually level one, so he must be treated as more like the baby form. Like, I guess he came out of the egg, basically, sort of thing. What else we got? Oh, another really random fusion, I feel like. I feel like all of these fusions are kind of like, oh, okay. What else you got? Ooh, here we go. I think that's the cover card. Oh, man, that looks cool. I think that's a... I hope that's a red eyes. We'll see. Um, it is Red Reboot Enhanced Boost Dragon. So, yeah, this dude looks awesome. So, he's like a new form to red eyes, I think, or something. Let me double check here. It requires Red Reboot Boost Dragon and Darkness Drake. He kind of seems similar, like he's a dark dragon. So, you could say he kind of goes along with red eyes, but he's not technically, I guess, a red eyes monster, it looks like. So, pretty interesting. Okay, well, I still like the artwork. I mean, he's really cool looking. <laughs> he's a cool looking cover card. I was just wondering if he was actually, you know, red eyes. Looks like you could probably use them together. Uh, salvage. That's a cool one to see. Okay. Do I got some kind of bat dragon? I don't know. <laughs> Again, some of these feel really random. You look at you're like, what? What am I looking at here? Let's see. Oh, secret rare! Another secret rare actually for us. This one looks similar to the other fusion girl we got earlier. That's pretty cool looking. Okay. Also, sorry if you hear noise in the background. As soon as I hit that record button, everything gets noisier in this house. Weird how that works, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Sure that didn't happen for anyone else. Oh, this is cool looking. It's like a submarine, like, mecha fish. Kind of reminds me of, like, the older stuff we've seen in the past with, like, the whale. Like, the different whales, I guess, really, that Mako has used. Kind of cool. And, ooh, okay, I think this is a Red Eyes card. And, like, a mini... Dark Magician? He reminds me of like the one from uh, Final Fantasy, the little mage. Anyway, uh, let me find the, the name of this real quick. That is cool looking. Yeah, this is Meteor Black Drake. So yeah, here's like your, your next level. We saw like the common one. 
which seemed like some kind of fusion, yet a weaker version, and now we have this. So, that is awesome. There we go. Another Red Eyes. That's why I wanted this set. I wanted the Red Eyes cards, so... And, ooh, another Red Eyes card here. You can see them in the artwork, at least. That is really cool. Okay, Torpedo Fish. And uh, more of whatever this archetype is. Okay. We're getting down to the wire. I don't remember if any of the overrushes are like really cool though. Like the last main set, they had Gaia, which was a really sick looking artwork. That's kind of a cool dragon. But I don't think it's like a red eyes like that or something. You know, that'd be cool. I mean, because I think Gaia might have had the best artwork ever out of any overrushes. So. Oh, we got like another polymerization, but a trap card. Not bad. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of accidentally saw her right there. We have something. We got an overrush. Again, I don't know if you're guaranteed one or what, but still, I won overrushes, so <laughs> it's fine with me. And, ooh, okay. This goes with, like, the pop star girls. Still really cool looking. I was hoping for the dragons, but I'll, I'll take this. Let's see. Any overrush is a plus. I mean, seriously, it's, like, the coolest artworks. Let's see. It is Companions is its name. Okay. But yeah, that's that's pretty good artwork. I, I will say that could make some cool sleeves or something. It looks like though there's some really cool overrushes in this. Looks like you could get like a red eyes one and stuff too. I might have to hunt down some of those red eyes ones because yeah, they're pretty cool looking. I'm just kind of skimming through them real quick. There's like six or something overrushes, but yeah, that's one for the collection. Another one for the collection. So I've been slowly gathering up more overrush cards. Very nice. Maybe you're at least guaranteed one then, and if that's the case, make it easy to hunt down the rest, or a little easier. <laughs> that just means you get more doubles, really, if you say it's easier. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Oh, they got the Dark Effigy. Huh, kind of random. I remember that card. This is a weird-looking bird thing. Got a Trap card. Kind of cool. And last pack. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see here. End with something cool. Rocket Warrior, you're pretty cool, but not really what we're looking for. And, ah, uh, well, another, like, random fusion, though. Oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a really cool little set. And, again, I had to get it for the red-ass support. So let me know what you guys think about it. And, uh, yeah, I would love it if we eventually got these red-ass cards as regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Red Eyes cards, you know, and especially some of Joey's cards like this too. Like, I, I've been wanting like a Rocket Warrior, a uh, Time Wizard, uh, what else? Like Baby Dragon even, and Alligator Sword and all that is like Red Eyes cards. Kind of like what they did with Gear Freak. He became a Red Eyes monster. I would love to see that for more cards. And that way, like, like we've seen with a lot of different characters where their whole, like all the random cards they had back in the day actually become an archetype. So, yeah, kind of like what happened with you, Bell, recently, and even Yugi did that pretty recently. So, let me know what you guys think, of course. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you want to see more of in the future. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.